Hi everyone, welcome to Walking and Talking with Phoenix and today we're discussing the importance, I think, of hitting rock bottom. So, you know, my dad's always called me a bit of a, a saviour, had always had a bit of a saviour complex, he reckons, because, you know, I'm always going about finding people with problems or broken people and trying to help them, trying to not fix them, but just get them back on their feet and guide them on their way. He reckons I do this so I can distract myself from my own issues. You know, I get so lost in other people's issues that I don't have to focus on my own and dealing with the real hard stuff. And maybe there's a bit of truth to that. <clears throat> but either way, regardless of the reason, the point is that I have dealt with a lot of toxic people in my time. And I can endure a lot before I gotta quit, you know. I can, I can tolerate and endure a lot of punishment. Maybe I'm a sucker for it indeed. So I have encountered plentiful, plentiful amounts of toxic people in my life and I've suffered greatly um, trying to help people when they weren't really ready to be helped. And that's the point here is that you will meet people that, you know, you grow to care for, you know, that you grow to love and they will have various issues, whatever it be, you know, in life. And basically, Sometimes these people aren't ready to be helped and if you try to help them because you really just want to see them get better You might actually end up sacrificing yourself um, To no avail like you won't actually achieve anything in them Because a lot of the time these people that are stuck in cycles and patterns and doing the same things making the same mistakes over and over Obviously they're doing all that for a reason. Maybe there's a lesson hidden somewhere that they need to learn and maybe it doesn't matter what anyone else says or what anyone else does or how hard someone else tries to help them, they're not going to stop making those same choices and leading into those same situations until they learn that lesson. So that's, that's where hitting rock bottom comes into it. Why, why is it so important, I think, to, to hit rock bottom? Well, sometimes I think that, you know, as, as Anthony Robbins, an uh, inspirational speaker, says, you have to get disturbed, right? You have to get disturbed to, in order to change. You know, people say, I should do this, I should do that, I should be this way, I should be that way. All these shoulds, you know, don't end up happening. You know, we always come up with excuses, justifications, and postpone it from ever happening. Um, if we change the shoulds into must, I must do this, I must do that, I must be like this, I must be like that, then you will find... <coughs> us acting with a greater sense of urgency and that's the point that you've got to get disturbed you've got to feel that sense of urgency before you really feel motivated to take the uh, initiative and take some action you know and that's what hitting rock bottom does when you have repeated um, a situation in your life or you've encountered the same kind of people over and over you keep making the same mistake it gets to a point where enough is enough, you know what I'm saying? It gets to a point where you hit that wall, that final wall, through every, after every other wall that you've busted through, there ends up being a wall that you just slam against and you can't break through it, and that's rock bottom. It's the most solid wall, the solid, most solid ground you will land on. And I think it's only at that point <coughs> that one truly realizes the gravity of their nature when they're stuck to the ground, so to speak, and they can't bust through it, then they realize I can't keep going down anymore. It don't, to go down, I will literally have to die or give up something huge, maybe just so I can, you know, float through this thing, so to speak. And that motivates them to do something about it, to change things for the better, to move on up and make those necessary changes. So, Another way you could put it is, you know, it's only after you've hit rock bottom in some cases with really repetitive issues that you can gain a, a solid enough footing, you know, because it's rock bottom, it's solid, right? And with that footing, you can actually push yourself up. And until you hit that solid ground, you can't really achieve that feeling of being disturbed. You can't achieve that feeling of urgency and you can't push yourself up with nearly as much force to start acting with towards our uh, progress and towards uh, achieving and overcoming uh, the, the problem and achieving resolution and that's the basic idea you know 
I think it's good to try to help people, maybe once, maybe twice, however many times, but you get to a point where you realize that your efforts are just redundant. It's probably gonna cause a lot more pain for you um, than it is gonna cause salvation for them. So sometimes it's better to learn when to quit ahead and to identify when somebody just needs to figure things out on their own and when they need to hit their rock bottom and get disturbed. Cheers.